All right, so you played in the Orlando League with Indiana, right? Yeah. And so now you're out here at Charlotte and Vegas. How have those two experiences been so far? Uh, it's been pretty good, you know, um, waiting for my shot, just, just being patient and everything and uh, getting a little bit of minutes here and there. And, Looking forward to the next couple of games before the end of summer league to, to really doing something. But it was uh, Orlando was a good was a good chance for me to just come out there um, and, and keep playing basically. Right. Now I'll talk about where have you seen your game grow in the past you know several months to a year? Um, a lot of offense and offense and confidence. Uh, that's basically the main thing that, that gets better every single time. Um, I went out to China actually yeah, before, before the summer league just to stay in shape and play a little bit more, a couple of games and everything. And uh, it, it was a great experience going out there just to get my confidence straight and come back here. So my offense is definitely uh, one area of my game that, that developed a lot in, a, in the past couple of months. And so, and then where do you want to continue to grow? What's, what's your kind of next steps? Um, I mean, as a free agent right now, it would be basically uh, getting somebody to, to give me a chance and just, just get out there and play, you know, uh, show what I really can do. I haven't really had the chance to show, show the world what I can really do on the court. Um, but I'm using it right now, you know, practicing. Just came from Orlando to, to Vegas and, and joined the team and got, got used to everything. Now it's just the, the playing time that, that, that is here that, that I'm waiting for, you know. It's, I'm ready to, to show, the, show the world what I can do now. Yeah, so now talk about that, you know, because you played in Maine, Iowa, Dakota. Talk about that experience in China. Like how different was that for you? going to a completely new country. It's, it's an adventure. Yeah. It is definitely an adventure. I enjoy going out there uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, yeah, obviously the playing time and, and getting to see other country, um, getting out there and just, just seeing how other things are, uh, getting to learn different style of play and things like that. Um, it, it was a good thing at the same time. It was rough too, you know. It's it's China. It's hard. Right. It's hard to the living con conditions are kind of different than than America or Africa or anywhere else. So um, I had to adjust to that. But it was a great thing coming from the D League, um, playing good in the D League, then finishing it off in China. Uh, that definitely boosted my confidence uh, a lot more than than you can even imagine. Um, just to be ready for for summer league, basically. Well, so what was the roughest? part or was it like the biggest adjustment was it like the culture shock or the culture shock uh, yeah was okay. uh, the culture was one thing I had to really get get adjusted to but um, the food okay the food was really really rough for me um, I mean I'm used to African food um, love American food I could not handle Chinese food, and it's a different Chinese food. Right, Ch right. Chinese food over there, Chinese food over here is completely two different okay. things. It's not what you think. So um, I had to get adjusted to that, but um, it was it was fun. Uh, I did two months out there, and, and I definitely enjoyed it. Would you find yourself eating and returning to to eat out there? Almost every single animal possible. I didn't eat it, but I seen it being yeah. cooked. Um, I seen a lot of di different things that I know I would not try on a, on a, an any other day. Right. Um, it's, their food is very spicy too, so if you got a weak stomach, it's not really okay. <laughs> really the best place to get your food. But everything else was, was kind of fine. Yeah. So we're now you know. Kind of a couple more games to go out here, but what do you envision as your your next your your next path or your plan? Um, like I said, showing what I can do uh, on a systematic base where I can uh, show that I have offense, I have defense, I have everything that is needed. I play hard all the time, and my work ethic is, is the same every uh, every day. You know, um, it's just basically the weight. Um, yeah. I keep working and keep my head straight and just just wait for that time basically and everything should be fine. I'm patient enough, you know, um, never complain about anything so I, I should be okay. Now if the NBA doesn't happen right now, would you see yourself staying in the, the D-League to be closer to the league or do you see maybe foreign and going overseas to, to kind of work on your talents over there? To be honest, you know, um, I'm looking forward to making it back in, into the NBA. Um, haven't really decided if I really want that option to go on overseas yet, um, but it is it is an option. Um, every option is a great option if you, if you know how to use it. And being in the NBA is definitely my, my number one goal. If it doesn't work out, well, 
League might be an option, but probably not for too long. You know, okay. at, the, at the end of the day, we all trying to survive. So, um, however it is, if I got to go get more experience overseas and play a little more, hey, I have to do what I got to do. Uh, I don't mind opening up to options, but NBA is definitely the number, my own number one uh, goal right now. Shifting gears a little bit, talk about the state of basketball in Africa. I know, like this year in the Olympics, you have two countries, Tunisia and Nigeria, and you, you know, and Nigeria qualified for the first time. So, talk about do you, do you think uh, are we getting close to an African team competing for a medal, or how have you seen it grow, especially the, the per- definitely it's it's a big growth. Yeah. Um, African basketball come from basically one of the last spots if you think about it, and uh, we're just trying to trying to conquer, trying to. Open up to the world, you know, and uh, having having uh, the uh, two countries right now in the Olympics is a big deal. It's a very big deal for every single, single country because we support each other when when it's about that time. And um, it, it, I think in the next couple of years, things are opening up. A lot of players are in the NBA from Africa, and uh, we're doing a lot of things around the world to help that grow as much as we can. So. I do I definitely see it getting a lot bigger in the next couple of years and hopefully we have a lot more than two teams in, in the next couple of Olympics to come. How important has the investment the NBA has made and have like you know the, the camp Camps and you know and kind of you know where you discover where it, discover it's, that? It's great. It's a big thing, not just for young kids, for for a lot of generations. Uh, the ones that came before gives you a lot more confidence. So they, for the guys that that get to experience that um, as, as a young young child having a basketball without borders and all those camps out there, uh, players coming down and visiting, giving back and things like that are things that honestly help the world a lot more just having um, an entire generation looking up to others and knowing that there is other options around the world and uh, giving them that confidence that it's possible uh, to make it further than just what you see in your country it's, it's something big and for African countries Asian countries uh, all those countries that basically still need a little boost to get take it to the next level I think um, the NBA do, is doing a definitely a great job of, of uh, exploring their options and, and going worldwide basically with the players they already have and the giving back that they are doing all around the world. So it's a great thing. Now in your home country, Senegal, would you ever participate in their national team? I saw that in the FIBA Africa tournament, they went 3-0 in group play but lost, I think, to Ivory Coast in the second round. But is that a program that you've been in connection with about maybe participating at one point? Uh, we connected a good um, last time I was supposed to actually play out there, but uh, miscommunications and things didn't work out well out there. But uh, uh, it's definitely something I'm looking forward to in, in the next couple of years. Once uh, I definitely have my status out in the NBA and uh, everything that I kind of want to do all set to go. Um, I'm looking forward to, to working with my country and I'm already doing certain things out there uh, with my organization and everything. So uh, it's step by step, but definitely looking forward to playing with them and, and helping them to, to be where, where we want to be, basically playing in the Olympics and, and being a country that, that, that matters and when it comes to just sports, not just basketball, but sports in general. Yeah. Now do you keep up with any uh, your old Wizards teammates, you know, Kevin or Trevor and those always. guys? Yeah. We always. That's yeah. I mean Trevor's still my best friend, so we're still yeah. always around and I talk to everybody. Uh, from Dre to Rashad to everybody that I left when I was out there. And um, I'm in good terms with everybody, John and everyone, you know. Uh, they still my family. I mean that was my first NBA team and I still got a lot of close friends on there and th- that relationship I think is always gonna last. Now, what did, now you're probably going to watch Kevin in the Olympics this yeah. summer. What have you thought as his game kind of really progressed toward the end of last season? And were you kind of surprised about how far he was able to go? Um, no, I, I wasn't. I mean, I practiced with the guy. I know exactly what he could do. And uh, I think just the fact that he got the opportunity to, to, to play on the court and get better. You know, once you get that chance and people let you make mistakes and you learn a little bit more every single game, I know he was going to take his game to a different level. And I'm, I'm proud of him, uh, really proud of him. And now he's gonna, he's going to do big things. We always talk, uh, spoke about it and uh, had the plans and everything, but it, I'm glad he, he's at that level now.
Now, you know, the U.S. might be favorites on gold. Any other predictions on who might be uh, taking some medals in the Olympics? Um, I have no predictions, no. I'm not, I'm not going to go against the U.S., obviously. I'm with my African brothers and everything. Right. But, I mean, we do know that they have a great team. So, uh, good luck to them. <laughs>